Our story begins on a bright Thanksgiving morning, not too many years ago, with a farmer and his wife and all the animals on their farm. The farmer asked his wife if she would like a turkey for their Thanksgiving dinner that night. She looked around and imagined the poor turkey in that terribly hot oven, and she said, No, dear, I would like something else for Thanksgiving dinner this year. The farmer said he would take care of it, and he went outside to find something else. As he got close to the animal pens, he realized that he had a problem. He couldn't tell any of the animals apart. He couldn't tell a chicken from a pig, and he wouldn't know a turkey even if it bit him on the behind. But luckily, he had an idea. He would just ask the animals what kind of animal they were, and when he got to one that wasn't a turkey, he'd have his dinner. The first animal pen he came to actually did have a turkey in it, although the farmer didn't know that. He had to ask to find out. So he went up to the turkey and he said, Are you a turkey? Tell me true. If you're not, I'm looking for you. You could be a chicken, pig, or cow. If you're not a turkey, get in the oven now. When the turkey heard this, he was so relieved that he was safe, at least for one more year. He said to the farmer, I am a turkey, yes I am. See my pretty feathers, you silly man. Definitely not what you're looking for. On your way out, please close the door. Now the farmer was a little disappointed, but it was just his first try. So he went on to the next animal pen. This one had a chicken in it, but the farmer couldn't tell what kind of animal it was. He had to ask to find out. So he went up to the chicken and said, Are you a turkey? Tell me true. If you're not, I'm looking for you. You could be a chicken, pig, or cow. If you're not a turkey, get in the oven now. When the chicken heard this, she was very upset. Normally, it was safe to be a chicken on Thanksgiving, but the chicken realized that the farmer couldn't tell what kind of animal she was, and if she just pretended to be a turkey, she'd be safe. So she said to the farmer, I am a turkey, yes I am. See my pretty feathers, you silly man. Definitely not what you look Now the farmer was disappointed again and a little discouraged, but there were two more animal pens, so he decided not to give up. The next one had a pig in it, but the farmer couldn't tell what kind of animal it was. He had to ask to find out, so he went up to the pig and said, Are you a turkey? Tell me true. If you're not, I'm looking for you. You could be a chicken, pig, or cow. If you're not a turkey, get in the oven now. When the pig heard this, he was very upset. Normally, it was safe to be a pig on Thanksgiving. But the pig realized that the farmer couldn't tell what kind of animal he was. And if he just pretended to be a turkey, he'd be safe. So he said to the farmer, I am a turkey, yes I am. See my pretty feathers, you silly man. I'm definitely not what you're looking for. On your way out, please close the door. Now the farmer was very worried at this point, since there was only one more animal pen left. But he thought to himself that since it was the last one, it had to have something besides a turkey inside. Actually, the animal in this pen was a cow, but the farmer couldn't tell what kind of animal it was. He had to ask to find out, so he went up to the cow and said, Are you a turkey? Tell me true. If you're not, I'm looking for you. You could be a chicken, pig, or cow. If you're not a turkey, get in the oven now. When the cow heard this, he was very upset. Normally, it was safe to be a cow on Thanksgiving. But the cow realized that the farmer couldn't tell what kind of animal he was. And if he just pretended to be a turkey, he'd be safe. So he said to the farmer, I am a turkey, yes I am. See my pretty feathers, you silly man. Definitely not what you're looking for. On your way out, please close the door. 
The farmer was crushed and bewildered. It seemed that every single animal on his farm was a turkey. He didn't know what he was going to do for dinner that night. Then he looked around at all his fields full of vegetables and grains, and he realized that there was plenty of food without the turkey. That night, the farmer and his wife sat down and had a wonderful Thanksgiving feast of roasted vegetables, stuffing with chestnuts and mushroom gravy, sugary sweet yams, creamy mashed potatoes, and a whole lot more, and delicious pumpkin pie for dessert. The farmer, his wife, and all the animals lived happily ever after. To this very day, if you go to that farm and talk to an animal, whether it's a turkey, chicken, pig, or cow, and you ask what kind of animal they are, do you know what they'll say to you? They'll say, I am a turkey, yes I am. See my pretty feathers, you silly man. Definitely not what you're looking for on your